What up guys, we out here at a pond next to Top Golf. Can y'all see that? And uh, close to the Cabela's over here at Allen, Texas. Um, and this is looking pretty, pretty good. So I'm gonna toss a couple things out here for a second. I've got like 45 minutes to fish and then uh, I gotta be somewhere. I'm gonna do a little extra footage, uh, possibly for today's vlog, a little skateboarding, which I haven't done in a while. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but I got my buddy bringing out the Ronin stabilizer, so it should be a little bit of fun. Let me toss this line in the water and catch a fish or two first, hopefully. I'm just gonna have the truck right here, so we'll just go one at a time. We'll take the crankbait first. If it don't work, we got a spinner bait, we got a Ned rig, we got a Texas rig in here. I think I got maybe one more little setup to play with, but we'll go one at a time. I wanna throw the Scorpion. Haven't used it on a decent sized rod in a while. This is like a $40 lose, uh, what is it? Hank Parker Signature Series, seven foot, medium heavy, and uh, seems to cast this baby a little ways, so. Let go. Water's not as murky as last week. So many storms out here, man. Oh, just realized I was shooting in linear, not wide on the GoPro, and 120 frames a second. <laughs> so, not too big a deal. This looks like a good little spot to post up. Watch some little duckies. <laughs> there we go. Stir up these bass. Need something to bite. Then I'd give it 10 minutes. I just kind of walked around the edge over there. Uh, no bites yet, but there's limited areas to cast. Oh yes, there we go. Talking about a two pounder plus. Too easy. He's a too easy. Oh yeah. Come here, baby. Oh, that's a that's a two all day, ladies and gents. You're right here by the rocks. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah. Haven't got the scale out in a while, so let's do it. We're just gonna plop you right through there. That was on the badass Shimano Scorpion reel. It gets scratched up more and more every time I use it. Uh, but it's definitely worth the. $285 if y'all want to scope it out. I'm gonna put it downstairs in the description. Let's see what we got here. We're gonna call you two pounds, two ounces. Watch this, dead on, two pounds, two ounces. Oh, back and forth between two pounds, two ounces and two pounds, three ounces. All right, two pound, three ounce. First fish I've caught in a while, man. I've been going out and not getting anything like, ugh. Come on, buddy. Cool. Oh! <laughs> the first time I saw him swipe, because he grabbed the crankbait pretty close to the bank right here. The first time I saw his side, I thought maybe, maybe he was three pounds. But uh, it wasn't so. Look at this. Perfect little spot. What a dream. Fail. <laughs> this crankbait, I need to get another one. I go through these things like this. It's got. This treble hook is broken. He's cracked back here. I wonder he hasn't been swimming straight. Not to say this is a bad crankbait. This is a KVD 1.5 Sexy Shad crankbait. And I've got 30 pound braided line on here with the last couple feet colored in with a Sharpie black. That way the fish don't really see it too well. Although in this colored water, it wouldn't matter. And I brought all this stuff, but the truck's over there. Maybe I should have brought a couple extra setups with me, but you know when the crankbait bite is on, that's what I love to use. So it would be cool to try that spinner bait here, the chartreuse one, but uh, I'd have to swim across the pond. All right, I think for this specific spot in the pond, it's a one and done type of deal. We're gonna move around. Sometimes it's better to just take the extra time and hook your crankbait up to something like this down here or the top of your reel or whatever because what will happen if you try and walk around a little section of the pond just with it like this right here or even like real close to the tip of the rod is those hooks will oftentimes get stuck or the line will get tangled and it's just more to fiddle with when you get to the spot and want to just cast the line in at the next area of the pond. Oh my god! A big one just missed it. I'll see that. Where'd he go? I see little wakes swimming all around here, man. There is some activity right about there. Get it. Get it. Get it. Gotta be kidding. Oops. <laughs> Just hit y'all in the face. 
right, we're about to find out who's chilling next to this thing right here, that's for sure. Oh, it's on that side. Oh no. Oh no. All right, we're gonna have to go on this side of it. Let's see if this will work for me like it does for Andrew Flair because I really don't have confidence in this. All right, let's see if it works like it does for them on YouTube. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That has never worked for me before, by the way. Now, just because that could have brought some good luck, let's try one more cast, but we really do gotta go. Okay, well, one's all we're gonna get today, guys, but uh, I'm coming back here. Now we can take y'all to the second portion of today's video, though, the skate park. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Thank you.